Hello everybody and welcome to St. John Church Hyper Sunday School. I hope your week was great. Today is the day of Pentecost. Who can tell me what does that mean? The day of Pentecost. Yes? Correct. Pentecost is when the Holy Spirit come to dwell with us on earth. It is the final day of the season of Easter. Easter is when Jesus resurrected three days after his death. He came back to life. 40 days after Easter, Jesus went back to his father. It is Ascension Day. Now, 50 days after Easter is the day of Pentecost when God sent the Holy Spirit to dwell in us with us and empower us to carry on the good work of Christ on earth and is also called the birth of the church you know Pentecost is also a principal feast now we're going to start seeing the manifestation of the Holy Spirit on her the work of the Holy Spirit on her through us and in us and with us in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen Dear Father God, we thank you for your love so freely given to us all. We thank you for Jesus and we thank you for sending us the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, fill the heart of your faithful and candle in us the fire of your love. In the name of Jesus, Amen. We have learned about God the Father and God the Son, but today we will learn more about God the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. Our Bible story today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, from verse 26 to verse 27, and chapter 16, from verse 4 to verse 15. And our storyteller today is Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Over to you. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. But I have said these things to you, so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you about them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me, Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For I, if I do not go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment about sin because they do not believe in me about righteousness because i am going to the father and you will see me no longer about judgment because the ruler of this world has been condemned i still have many things to say to you but you cannot bear them now when the spirit of truth comes he will guide you into all the truth for he will not speak on his own but will speak whatever he hears and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I said, that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Charlie, thank you. That was awesome. Now, what can we take from our Bible story? Our Lord is the living spring of water around which the church is built. The Spirit of God bears witness to Jesus. The Holy Spirit gives us the power to live for Jesus, to carry on the good work of Christ on earth wherever we go. It is the Spirit of truth, as Jesus said, the Holy Spirit, who is going to help us to find joy to find peace, to love others, to be kind, to be faithful, to be joyful, to be good, 
to forgive other people and he is your counselor he is your guide it is the holy spirit who is going to remind you the words of god we need the holy spirit to help us to live our lives here holy spirit sent by the father ignite in us your holy fire strengthen your children with the gift of faith revive your church with the breath of love and renew the face of the earth through jesus christ our lord amen thank you very much for staying connected it was a pleasure to have you we wish you to have a wonderful day and see you next week bye bye